I'm just upset with myself. Well, you don't need to be, babe. So it sounds like she does have an infection. Uh, and actually, now is about the time it would show up. Everything that we're describing to him, he's like, you're gonna have to come into the office and I'm gonna have to make a small incision and irrigate and drain. This side looks decent. This side's getting swollen. Alright guys, so... Last night, Janice was not feeling very well. Um, she was trying to eat and it was not happening. She was in a lot of, lot of pain. And overnight, she got in, in even more pain. And this morning, her face is starting to swell up again. Like as if she just had the surgery. So, a little concerning. Um, I looked in her mouth. I, we, they, I had this little syringe. We cleared out, like I sprayed water in there. She brushes her teeth. We have like a little water pick and everything. And she cleans out the whole area. And water's coming out clear, there's no like food or contamination or anything like that. But there's like a visible bump, like when she pulls her cheek out, there's like a visible bump in between her cheek and her gums. And it's like, that was not there a couple days ago. So this is the result of it. My poor sweet Janice. The heating pad's on her face because, you know, with the pain and the muscles, everything, it's, you know, it helps relieve it and everything. But this is how she's been for ever since last night, right babe? I love you. No need to cry, it's okay. I love you. you want a foot massage? Do you want Orion and Yodi up here to give you kisses and love? So, I'm gonna stop being a crybaby and power through. I am upset, I'm frustrated, I'm in pain. I just sadly figured something like this would happen because I usually have some form of complication after a procedure. I'm just upset with myself. You don't need to be, babe. I'm upset with my body, but thankfully, I love my oral surgeon and their staff because one of the girls is amazing. She also has POTS and EDS, so she understands my health situation. So when this started happening, I just texted her immediately and I was like, what do I do? Does it, what do you think? And she's been helping us, supporting, helping us figure this out, so. Tiffany, this goes out to you. Thank you for being there for us, because this is something that we have literally zero knowledge <sighs> on. Yeah. So genuinely, we really appreciate your help, support, and just the words of advice, because uh, this is new territory for us. So genuinely, thank you. So sadly, on top of this infection, about like 20 minutes ago, I also threw up. I don't feel the best. I am going to push through, and we are going to resolve this issue, because this is not going to stop me. I will not lie, the pain feels like as if I have a crazy cavity, like mm. a cavity that is like trying to like lift my tooth up and like pull it out kind of a thing. So that's what I'm going through a little bit right now. Now this is going on on her right side. Her left side was the more complicated side and caused more pain. So thankfully I'm like at least it's not a like more issue side because then that probably would hurt even more. But she has been brushing her teeth, brushing back there, using the water pick, cleaning it out, and she does it religiously. So these are just complications, guys, that can happen to anyone at any point. So we called the doctor's office, the surgeon, and they're on call 24-7. They have two different doctors, and the one who did her surgery is the one who is on call today. And uh, they give you a call back within an hour, called, let, left them a message, and... Uh, Let's see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we don't have to go in for anything crazy. If they can just send us some antibiotics and stuff, great. If not, you know, we do have to go in for what is called a IND. Yeah. Incision and drainage. Yeah. Hopefully not, but, you know, I just want Janice to be comfortable and, you know, with some antibiotics, some strong ones. Because the ones they give you, it may not be the strongest. It's kind of one to prevent. And... You have a fly in your face. Like, it's just relentless. You're good. <laughs> um, the ones I give you may just be able to prevent, and maybe now she needs something a little bit stronger. So, uh, that's what we're dealing with right now, guys, and uh, another sit rep soon. July 2nd. July 2nd? Yes. So, she was doing better, I imagine, and then this just started. Yes. Okay, is it difficult for her to open up? 
a little a, a, a little bit hard to talk and eat as well because you have a bad taste in your mouth it's like a metallic weird taste yeah. a metallic weird taste so it sounds like she does have an infection um, and actually now is about the time it would show up so one thing is i could call in a prescription for an antibiotic mm -hmm. and we can see her on monday or I can see her today, and most likely I have ended up kind of opening up the area and draining out the pus, because that's what it sounds like, that she's got an active infection there. There's like a visible bump in between her cheek and her gums and teeth. Okay. Yeah, give me give me one second. I'd rather try to do the antibiotics to see if it clears up. Doing... Ask him if we wait till Monday and do the antibiotics with not doing incision shots it's just babe it, it's gonna be faster healing if he just drains it out i just don't want to go through it. just can you ask okay so quick question it, you know get needles and stuff like yeah she's just she just doesn't want to like you know have to get needles and you know like going through more like pain and stuff like that is it if she if she takes the antibiotics, yeah. is it gonna be like a long process of recovery? Is it possible to wait till Monday? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think just the antibiotics are going to do it. With what you're describing. Gotcha. All right, guys. So while we were here, literally the doctor called back. It was extremely fast, like ten minutes tops. He called us back. So love that. Everything that we're describing to him, he's like. You're going to have to come into the office and I'm going to have to make a small incision and irrigate and drain the area because he's like, it's an infection. This is about the time that an infection would pop up. Small fragment of bone is left in and it can cause an infection, a plethora of different things. So for right now, we have an appointment with him. He's just going to go to the office, open up for us and um, we love it, appreciate it. So we're going to get ready and head out over there, guys. All right, guys. So as you can tell, I am now dressed to go out. The doctor is waiting for us. If you did not know, if I did not say before, today is actually Saturday. So the fact that the doctor is willing to go open the office up just for Janice so that, you know, she can get treatment and make her feel better on a Saturday is awesome because not many people are willing to be like, oh, you can wait till Monday. I'll just send you some antibiotics and we'll, we'll check you out then. So thankfully, you know, they're willing to go above and beyond, which definitely means a lot for us. Janice is still in bed. I got all dressed up so that... Once she gets dressed, we're just in the car and out. She doesn't have to sit there waiting for me to get ready and whatnot. So uh, that's what we're doing now. All right, babe? I know. She's in pain and discomfort, so we're going to go and make her feel better. I'm in a mood. Obviously, she does not want to go and get poked or stuck and stabbed in the mouth, and that's completely understandable. So uh, we're going to go and talk to the doctor and uh, see what is the best option to make her feel better as fast as humanly possible but making her as comfortable as possible in the process as well like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here guys as you can hear it is thunderstorming here in Florida but we are here at the oral surgeon's office um, it's another location than where Janice actually got her surgery done but I'm assuming this one's closer to his house that's why he's like come to this one so we're here he told us to go to the back door at 3 30 it is currently 3 20 we've been here for about five minutes we're gonna wait here for a few more minutes and I'm just gonna go knock on the door and see what happens but Janice is having a rough time over here so I want to make sure she's okay and feels good and start eating her steak again right baby want some ribs and a lobster lobster oh there we go success you can see how it's kind of a uh, swollen and big orions back there too but um yeah she has some gauze in her mouth the surgeon was actually very very gentle he was able to give her the uh, numbing medication she barely felt anything right so very gentle touch we appreciate it genuinely and uh, he was able to drain out everything that was in there For fortunately 
we were able to get her treatment today. He gave us some prescription medication for pain as well as antibiotics and he told us how to take them and hopefully by tomorrow she'll be feeling better already. So what we did is we had the two papers for the prescription um, before we went home. Uh, the pharmacy does close at five so I just instantly went, dropped off the medication. I mean the prescription for the medication. The guy told me, hey, be mindful, we close at 5, just be here before 5, and, you know, we'll have it for you. He was like, I'll be here at 4.40, like, make sure there's plenty of time. That's done. Uh, we're heading back home right now. I'm going to get Janice in bed, comfy, help her relax, put some TV on, and just woosa, and then come back, pick up the medication, go back home, and start taking care of her again. All right, guys, so Janice is home. I put her in bed, she got it all nice and comfy, put some PJs on, she's just going to take a chill, relax. We took the gauze out and I looked in the back, the doctor did such a small incision, not not bleeding very much, she rinsed her mouth out, mouth out with salt water, I'm out of breath because I'm not going around the house. And now I'm going to go back to the pharmacy, pick up the medication, so uh, let's go. Alright guys, put her on the road to recovery faster. So, Janice has successfully taken her antibiotic medication. She does have some pain. She's using her heating pad and ice packs, alternating between those. It's going to be a little slow road to recovery, but this is definitely the faster route than just taking antibiotics. So, thankfully, we're getting there, guys. Thank you so much for everyone who has sent kind words, wishes, and prayers. I've seen a lot of these in the comments. Like, truly, we really, really appreciate it, guys. It means the world to us that, you know, you guys are there listening to us and wishing the best for us. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. If you guys want to support the channel in another way, we do have Patreon. Patreon is like a subscription, and you get behind-the-scenes access to what we're doing for just in our family as well as for the channel. Lots of updates going there, and we also have Skype sessions one-on-one -on -one with us, the Raw Life family. So guys, again, thank you so much. We really, truly appreciate it, guys. This is going to be the end of our lovely adventure this weekend. So for now, guys, adieu and goodbye.